just as we introduced average, acceler average velocity, now I'm going to introduce average acceleration. Notice that the velocity changes here throughout time. And that brings me to the next part, the logical part, namely that we're going to introduce an average acceleration. And with a little bit of imagination, you can probably guess what that looks like. The average acceleration between time t1 and time t2 would then be the velocity at time t2 minus the velocity at time t1 divided by t2 minus t1, and the dimension is length per second per time squared, so it's meters per second squared. This is then for a one-dimensional situation.